everybody welcome back to the punk rock player one channel and today we are reviewing falling in reverse with their new album popular monster and I'll give you guys some context about this band i have never listened to these guys but i wanted to check this album out because i really like their music videos they have some crazy music videos for leading up to this album release and i've been getting into uh, a lot of emo and post-hardcore and all that good stuff. And Falling in Reverse seemed like a cool band. So, And I, I know about Ronnie Radke's uh, previous band, Escape the Fate, and his songs he made with them that were great. And the current singer uh, with their whatever lineup they have now is pretty good as well. And I kind of figured out, like, found all these guys all at the same time. But uh yeah and they seem to be making big waves in the alternative scene and rock scene in general so let's get into this review so prequel definitely has a pretty epic theatrical kind of beginning and uh ronnie has shows off his rapping skills at the beginning part of this and he's also hitting some uh pretty solid uh falsettos when he's doing the singing stuff so prequel, I would say, is a pretty pretty strong start and definitely a taste of the rest of the album. And pretty sure that wasn't a single. I don't think so. But Popular Monster definitely was. It's been out for a little bit. And it has a very catchy chorus. I'll go ahead and say that right now. And the full band sounds very great. Oh, and by the way, uh, it, during prequel... It kind of started off with theatrical kind of opera singing, and I just saw that he had a full choir come out to do that, and that's pretty cool. Um, but, so, yeah, pretty legit. And so it went from rap section into the full band coming in. And then Popular Monster just kind of starts with the full band, and there are some very beefy screams on Popular Monster, so... Solid song. Screaming, yelling, screamo. Just kidding, it's not screamo, but... Well, I guess it is. I don't know. But anyway, Popular Monster, pretty good. All My Life, this is another single uh, featuring Jelly Roll. And this song is so freaking catchy. It's insane. It's very much an earworm kind of effect going on, or mindworm, or whatever. And the... Uh, I'm telling you, like... The part where they go into the country core kind of hoedown, breakdown kind of thing it is insanely catchy. And Jelly Roll definitely elevates this song to another level. Uh, it was already a good song, but then you have a pretty solid feature. And then boom, it's kind of like a hit. And I'm surprised it doesn't have more views on Genius, actually. But um, cause I'm pretty sure... In my opinion, I'll go ahead and say now, I feel like all my life, in my opinion, made the most waves of any of these songs on the album. Uh, and what I mean by that is like the most popular, I think. But this, according to this, popular monster is, but I think it's been out for a while. That's like, but it doesn't really mean much to me because I, I like these first three songs anyway. So, but... I don't know, I feel like there was a lot of buzz around all my life. But, yeah, the chorus is a banger. So, moving on to Ronald. And Ronald features uh, a lot of people, Tech 9 and Alex Terrible. And screaming vocals, again, are very solid on the song. And there's a very much a metalcore kind of track. And the rap feature is great as well and i really didn't know about tech nine uh before this song but i am definitely going to check him out now so props to him he kind of nailed his section of this song and but yeah that, solid and alex terrible i kind of knew about him before the song but uh i know more about him now and his feature was also really rad 
and yeah the breakdown is insane and i very much like every time there's a breakdown in this album there's like a sound of glass shattering so i appreciate that there's like a and then the glass shattering with the bass drum and the bass guitar and all the stuff exploding at the same time it's an interesting thing to hear in headphones it's pretty great next song uh oh i'll go ahead and say ronald definitely in my top five of songs i dare say i might like it more than all my life but moving on voices in my head that has rap at the beginning and a cool chorus and the harmonized vocals that uh very much remind me of kind of like this is the best example i can come up with on the top of my head but queen uh queen harmonized vocals from like Bohemian, Bohemian Rhapsody and pretty sure that's all Ronald maybe some guest vocals but anyway harmonized vocals insane it, I cannot say enough good things about it it adds so much to each song it's used in it sounds great and there is a trap uh, section with a uh, bass all the trap rap kind of stuff and the breakdown section went extremely hard in the song as well so i don't think this is a single but don't sleep on the song it's pretty good bad guy featuring i'm probably gonna butcher this name sarah yeah uh immediately catchy and uh has great vocal hook there's a trap sound at the beginning a kind of with a build-up similar to prequel that leads to a big rock chorus and he has like a kind of a raspy vocal section that leads to the drop and also a pretty nice feature from Seria Ser uh, that kind of adds to the build-up of the final breakdown so I like the song it's pretty good I would also say it's in my top five for sure Bad guys, pretty good for being bad. Uh, the next song, Watch the World Burn, is also a single, I'm pretty sure. It has an insane music video. And there's a pretty savage rap section on the song with some very fast verses. And the rap and the rock sections are so seamlessly kind of woven that the, the transition in the song is just is perfect. It's very epic sounding, uh, the song in particular. And yeah, they're very epic. Uh, cool breakdown. Oh yeah, there's a very cool breakdown call on the song. Uh, and I think he says literally breakdown or something like that. I, I can't remember at the moment. I don't know why, but cool breakdown call. The nice screaming vocals towards the end. And yeah. Oh, okay. So I put in my notes for this. Okay, so sometimes I put this just in case I forget. But I put, when I was listening to this, this is, this is my favorite song and best song on the album. Uh, I will think about that for a couple minutes as we review this, but that's, that's probably a good take. I believe I believe that. Trigger Warning has, uh, the I would say the rapping is pretty solid in this song. He hits the falsettos and and bass vocals in the song very like deep kind of singing and high singing at the same time and there's a cool piano solo in the song as well i appreciate that and cool trumpets that are i believe uh, maybe just like a horn section kind of put in the song and in my opinion the chorus is the best part of the song and yeah i would say this song, Trigger Warning and No Fear, are probably the best rap songs on the album. But the best rap verses happen in Watch the World Burn. But all, all around, there's plenty of good rap all around. But anyway, Zombified is definitely a single. I remember when that came out. This is mostly a rock song at the beginning. And again, cool build up to the chorus. Lyrics are not going to stop be, uh, being relevant either. Uh, I understand that can happen when you're talking about like Instagram posts and stories and stuff like that, but 
the verses are kind of written that this is not going to be irrelevant anytime soon, especially with the way the world's going. But basically just being yourself and not being ashamed of being yourself online or in person. Uh, and yeah, just not taking anybody's crap uh, to simplify it. That's what the lyrics of the song mean. And there's a very cool pickup in the speed at the breakdown. And yeah, probably best singing on the album by Ronnie on this song. And yeah, Jump Fied absolutely in my top five for this album. No Fear has the rap section I was talking about earlier with violins and trap drums. And the lyrics talk about, again, people being afraid of speaking up or just speaking in general. And there is also another good, nice call for a drop and the band. Oh, yeah. OK, so this is cool. All right. So this song is mostly rap and trap, which is cool. But he calls for a drop and the band comes in literally for like two seconds, maybe three and does an insane drop. And then the song continues. <laughs> uh, very funny and, and cool at the same time. And for the rest of the song, he does kind of a mocking voice at the end. And yeah, this song definitely is the best rap song of the album, I would say. And the next song, The Closer, Last Resort Reimagined, is definitely extremely emotional with the delivery and the vocals with this classic song. And there's a nice interpolation of verses at the end where uh, he's singing two different verses at the same time, and it's just uh, put together perfectly. Um, and the band comes in at the very end to kind of give like an epic conclusion sound going for that. Screaming vocals, again, are very solid on this one. And I'll just say, if you listen to this song and you don't feel any anything, like then like you're like, I don't know how you could not feel something listening to this version of the song. By the way, I love the original version too, of course. Papa Roach is dope. And yeah, there's just immediately you can tell there's definitely some vocals, a uh, feeling behind the vocals, I should say, especially on this song. And that wraps up my song's uh, review. So... The songs that end up in my top five, in no particular order, is... I gotta be picky. Hold on. I'm thinking. Uh, so... All My Life, for sure. Ronald. Bad Guy. Watch the World Burn has gotta be number four. close, but I'm going to give number five to Zombified. Uh, let me know what you guys think of this album. Oh, and before I say that, I need to give this review. Uh, so my criteria for a 10 out of 10, that's why I've been giving out so many 10 out of 10s lately, but I just got to call it like it is. Like if I, I'm in my car and I do not skip any of these songs, then it's a 10 out of 10. So that's what I'm going to give it. Uh, Popular Monster gets a 10 out of 10. Let me know what you guys think of this album, and I will catch you guys later.